Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on to the guest who is sitting right here next to me on this very couch. So this young woman, um, we met and we were connected by a, a kind of like a mutual friend, an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, uh, God just sends people into your life and it's like, we didn't know each other from, you know, this or that. And when we got together, it was like, it was purposed. It was, there was a reason we were supposed to connect. So I'm very, very thankful that she accepted my invitation to come and share on the couch for Cassie Live. So without further ado, darling, I'd like to introduce to you, and she's got a really long name. So let's <laughs> see <laughs> if I can get it right. I have on the couch with me, Rose Marie, Rosemary mm -hmm. Oglesby Henry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I said it right, yeah. From Rosemary's Babies. Now, I, I have to be honest, before we get into Rosemary's Babies, I thought that Rosemary's Baby was, it, was that like a name of a movie or something? Yes. <laughs> was that, was it, it like was. a horror film? It was a 19, oh my gosh, 76 horror flick with uh, Farrah Fawcett, I think that's okay. what her name is. And um, that's kind of where I got the name for Rosemary's Babies. Cause, um, uh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, I'm like, oh my God. No, no worries. <laughs> is God talking to me? Um, no, it's just Steve. No, okay. <laughs> so um, that's where I got the name from, um, the actual movie. Because when I was younger, people always used to be like, hey, um, have you ever seen that movie, Rosemary's Babies? And after so many years, I was like, it's not funny. And then when I became a teen mom, they're like, hey, have you seen that movie, Rosemary's Babies? And people are like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you had a baby. And so it just kind of stuck. Like when I would be walking around my kids, they're like, hey, there's Rosemary and her babies. And so, you know, guess what? Rosemary's that, it, it just kind of stuck. Rosemary's baby. Okay, but this is nothing like the nothing horror film. Like this is horror not film. your organization. Is nothing, nothing like that. Nothing like the horror film. Okay, nothing. so you want to give us a brief synopsis or something you want to share with us, or okay. uh, you want to tell us why Rosemary's babies and what? Okay, so Rosemary's Babies um, supports teen parents, mm -hmm. teen parents, not just moms, but also dads and parents of teen parents. We provide educational, financial resources, and mentoring um, to teen parents. We um, we take care of the real live stuff, the true stuff, not okay. just you know the okay, let's do financial planning, but we get to the gut, the meat and guts of what teens need. Okay. Um, okay. And you brought a clip for us to see. Yes, I brought a clip. For a little better explanation. Can we can we check that out? Let's see, when I asked for tissue earlier, you were like, I'm going to need tissue. No, I'm going to need tissue. No, you were drawing no. me in and then seeing the pictures of the of the teenage parents with their children yeah. on the street. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's yeah. horrible. And the last photo was me. Yes, so, yeah. yes. So that's where um, all this came from. I was a teen parent. And um, when you 
come up out of that situation, um, you have to reach back and pull others up. So I feel like every journey and every step through my life has been leading me to, you know, do this, support other teen parents. So it doesn't have to be as hard. So how long has Rosemary's Babies existed? So um, as a vision, it okay. started when my daughter was maybe two years old. One day I was like in tears, like, oh my God, it doesn't have to be this hard. Where's my support? Where's, you know, where's the dad? Where's the help? And I was like, you know, one day this is gonna, you know, I'm gonna build a program and I'm gonna help. And, you know, just over the last few years, um, when I graduated from college in 2012, it took me eight years to finish college. But you finished. But I finished. Yes. And the main point of me finishing was, you know what, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna start this program, I wanna show people no matter what, mm -hmm. you know, you can persevere, just keep pushing towards your goals. And so um, I started to build the program in actually 2012. And um, my daughter kind of pushed me back into school when I graduated in 2013 to get my master's. And I actually built the program as my integrative project um, during my master's. So. Um, yeah, a lot of years, a lot of time, and a lot of experience. So, so there's definitely life. life after teen parenting. Yes. I'm pretty sure that a lot of our viewers kind of started out like that. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes, I have to admit, becoming a teen parent is a result of having some um, other issues right. in our upbringing, um, namely abuse, uh, mm -hmm. having uh, sexual abuse and or you know, physical abuse, mental abuse, all those things can lead a teenager to a place where they're looking for love in all the wrong places. And sometimes we get caught up. And mm -hmm. that's how, you know, we, we're creating products of um, products who are teen parents. And because we're not breaking the cycle mm -hmm. by educating or supporting our kids or, or keeping them away from the abuse or teaching them how to share about it, then they, you know, right. they turn to that. Right. So you said that you deal with children and with the parents of the teen children. Yes. How does that work out? How, how receptive are they? Um, teen parents, oh my God. I think I'm 37 and my mom's probably still mad at me for being a teen mom. But um, it's funny because the other day I got a call from a teen, from, from a teen dad's mother. Mm -hmm. And she called me because the teen mom was being abused by the mother because she was angry that she was pregnant and she didn't want to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. And so to hear that, you know, okay, it's an obstacle. It's not a problem, it's an obstacle. And it's, the, it, you know, it's how you go through those obstacles and how you come back from those. But the mother couldn't see past her own anger. And so, um, you know, that, that kind of brings me back and takes me back to when I was 16 and I got pregnant and the anger that I that I got from my family but you know I also look at okay they were angry with me but then I was ostracized in school so you go through so many different things as a teen parent that you don't even realize that you that you go through now is this is this an online program is it something where people call you and you go to meet them um, how does how does Rosemary's baby work um, so babies, babies. babies. Um, so Rosemary's babies is an online program um, when I established a program I looked at teen parents and their obstacles you know um, daycare transportation and so our program is actually um, online is virtual a teen parent or a parent of a teen parent can reach us on any social media platform. Okay. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they can text, um, they can call 813-TEEN, that's our phone number, but they can also text that number as well. 813-TEEN. 813-TEEN, 8336. And um, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, to be able to provide what we call confidant care. What is a confidant? A person you can trust. You know, um, and they need somebody they can trust. Yes, yes, they do. So, um, um, the reason we connected in the first place is because Rosemary's Babies Ladies. is having this huge event, and um, someone suggested that I should be a part of it, although I didn't know. So they told Rosemary about Chris, and then Rosemary contacted me, and then we, and then we ended up talking, and you know, right. ended up traveling in some of the same circles. As a matter of fact. Um, one of my, my, I don't even know what to call her at this point, my Vicki, uh, <laughs> Vicki Williams, um, who's been um, with Cassie from the beginning, 
um, actually knows Rosemary. Mm -hmm. And they had a conversation, and my name came up, and it's like, whoa. But tell us about the event. So she's got this huge event coming up, and we would mm -hmm. love for you to come. Um, so tell us about it. So the event is the Legends of Funk Benefit Concert, My Legacy Matters. Mm -hmm. um, one of the mission of Rosemary's Babies is um, to help teen parents master the concepts of self-leadership to leave legacies. So that's why the event is called My Legacy Matters. Um, it's about the future of your children, not just you, but your, also your legacies. Um, I'm very proud to say that everyone, for the most part, affiliated with the event mm -hmm. um, to, has a passion for the event. For example, the deal is the headliner. So excited about them coming. The deal as in the, the, deal. the group. Like as the in legends in of funk, ah, like the you know, perfect. Hall of Funk famous, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, the yeah. deal. But um the the head singers of the deal, um, oh my God, and my name just they I can't remember the names either. Yeah, D, D. Um, that helps. And deal. Yeah, D, D. Okay. D um, <laughs> and KO were actually teen parents, mm. um, as well as Aprina Johnson, who is another person that's going to be performing. Mm -hmm. um, she was a teen parent. And also um, our co-host, um, he was a teen parent. So again, Miss um, Chris Stiles will be there. And she works with um, teens that have gone through abuse and sexual abuse. And so just to have all of these people that have a true passion mm -hmm. for the purpose not just the event to make money or whatever that is, but the true purpose because it means something to them because they've walked through it means something to me. So I'm completely blessed. So these people that are going to be a part of your event, are they going to come on as, and it's just popped in my head, so I don't, I don't want to like overstep my bounds, but are they going to come on as like mentors or something like that? You know what I mean? Will they be available for the teens? Um, if they, you know, are there, can they connect or reach out to these people? So the <laughs> yeah, so the event, um, the Legends of Funk mm -hmm. Benefit concert is for adults, like oh. ultimate adults, because it's like an old school kind of concert. So old teen parents. Old teen parents. Like us. Um, yeah, like us. <laughs> So, um, they're roses that blossom through concrete, not old teen parents. Oh, sorry. I call them roses that blossom through concrete. Um, yeah, like, do you know how hard it is for a rose to blossom through concrete? Yes, And yes. a matter of fact, Tupac wrote a poem um, called The Rose That Blossom Through Concrete. Really? Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Never knew that. Never but, knew that. But, um, so it is for... Um, Dip, you know, adults. Mm -hmm. um, it will be at the Woodward Theater downtown and over the Rhine on March the 26th. Nice, nice, yes. nice, um, nice. You can get tickets through rosemarysbabies.co. Okay. Co. Um, dot co, not dot, dot com, just co. Dot co. That's the new company. That's the new thing for small businesses. Okay. Dot co. Oh, we're still dot o r g. Yeah, you know, what? nonprofit. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Well, it was taken. You know, remember Rosemary oh, Babies, yes. the movie? Yes, 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 yes. Can do dot com. Okay. So we, we got dot co. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, so very excited about the event. Um, Ed, Ed Sachs Thomas yes. will be um, there as well. Um, we also have the New Royals and a group called Camp. Um, again, very excited about okay. the event. It's going to be a great turnout. Hopefully buy tickets, come support. Um, this is one way to give back. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers to mm -hmm. give back as well. I love volunteers that have went through the struggle of being a teen parent mm -hmm. and understand what these teens go through. So if there's anybody out there that wants to volunteer, please hit me up 24-7. 813-teen. 813-teen. Yes. 24 hours of the day. <laughs> so the Cassie Project is actually going to be launching something a little bit new, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very thankful that you invited us to be a part of your event because um, as we do, you know, Cassie Live, we're gonna have like Cassie for a cause. So it's like Cassie TV. So I'll be there working the red carpet, um, representing the Cassie Project, but bringing awareness to other causes, like mm -hmm. teen parents, right. male and female, you know, moms and dads. So we'll mm -hmm. be there doing interviews and things like that, and then that'll also be available for you to see online as well as through their website and all mm -hmm. other social media mm -hmm. outlets as well. So Cassie's going to be doing a Cassie TV sort of thing, yes. uh, Cassie. Yeah, yeah. Cassie for a cause because every cause celebrates survivors. Absolutely. You like that? I, I like, like that. it. Every I like cause it. celebrates survivors. That's pretty I like good. It. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you are um, a team mom. Oh, You've wow. gotten all yeah. types of degrees, and not all of us can say that. Not all of us yes. can say that. I didn't get all types of degrees. I just got a, you know, <laughs> just, but it's not that many because she's got a whole bunch. Um, um, so congratulations. Thank you. So you are definitely a, a positive statistic of teen parenthood. Yes. 
but you also have some other um, roots of survival, I guess you right. can say that. Mm -hmm. Do you mind sharing a little bit of that with us and, and yeah. possibly how you even became a teen parent? Um, so um, I live with both parents, you know, um, mom, dad, married, house, and about 15, the, the world came crashing down. That's when, um, in 96, when crack hit the scene, mm. and a lot of families were exposed to what crack does. When um, other people were out laughing at the crackhead that was selling meat on the corner, it was probably my dad selling meat. <laughs> but, um, you know, but he's clean now, six mm -hmm. years. I'm oh, wow. very proud of him. He even went back and got his degree. All right. But, um, yeah. you know, when your life turns upside down like that, you don't know where to turn. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I spent a lot of time outside of the home because it was a lot of arguing. It was a lot of hurt there. Um, prior to that, you know, I went through, before he was a drug addict, he was an alcoholic, and that's okay. You know, um, I watched my mom go through abuse. We went through a lot of verbal abuse. Um, I was sexually abused. So there was just a lot going on. But through all of this, I'm like, I got to get my education and get the heck away from these people. You know, I'm like, I just got to get my education and get the heck away from these people. And um, it didn't work out that way. You know, um, I have no regrets for my daughter because my daughter motivated me mm -hmm. to do better and be better. Don't and our babies do that? Don't, they you, do. don't you just love that? They do. They yeah. do. Even today, before I came here, she's like, you're going to be fine, you know, <laughs> just make sure you cover up, you know, the girls or whatever. But she gave me like this oh, pep talk. Oh, she must have talked to our producer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she gave me like this pep talk, like, you're going to be fine, you know. Um, but yeah, so like just making sure that, you know, at 18, 19, mm -hmm. when my daughter was two years old, saying, you know what, this is a problem. In a lot of communities, we don't realize what's a problem. We make excuses for it. You know what? Everybody's parents are on drugs. Everybody was abused. Everybody went through this. But who's going to step up and say, this is a problem mm -hmm. that we need to do something to mm -hmm. stop, that we need to change? And so... So would you would you identify teen parenting kind of like a... Uh, I want to say it's a bad thing because, you know, babies are blessings and beautiful things, but is it kind of like maybe a curse in, in some in some way can you say it like that it can it can be looked at and viewed that way mm -hmm. um you know my grandmother was a teen parent my mother was a teen parent my great-grandmother was a teen parent yeah. brother and sister but teen it's parenting so stopped with me there was a cycle of teen parenting and poverty um in the black community mm -hmm. most people don't get married there's a lot of generational what you call curses that need to be stopped but you can only stop those one at a time i totally agree you can only stop them one at a time and you attack those things one at a time but it it, it causes you to say you know what this is an issue so you first have to identify that um see i forgot your question i was running off the mouth <laughs> no i mean i know the one question and you did you did answer that question mm -hmm. um and we were talking about how you were tied into um i guess the cassie project so yeah. you've got to you know I am Cassie yeah. as well. You've got a little Cassie in you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and But you are, like I said, you are definitely a positive statistic of that. I mean, you went right. on and you have gotten your degrees. You have a teenage daughter who is not a parent. Yes. Um, so I applaud you on that. Thank you. You know, I, I, know how, I know how challenging that can be. I have one right. as well. Um, but, well, she's not a teenager anymore, but she was. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we, yeah. we've gone through it. But I just wanted to thank you, and again, give us your website. Yes, www.rosemarysbabies.co. Not Rosemary's Baby, but rosemarysbabies.co. I-E-S or Y-S? I-E-S. Okay. Rosemarysbabies.co. Okay. 813-TEEN, or which is 813-8336, um, we're there, you know, responding to questions, mm -hmm. support, um, just somebody to talk to, um, Again, like 50% of the people that work for us were teen parents. So they understand your walk. Yeah. They understand yeah. what you're going yeah. through. All right. And so this event is happening in March. March the 26th. March the 26th. 5 p.m. 5 yes. p.m. At the Woodward right. Theater. Awesome. So I definitely will be there. Yes. And um, I hope you all will join us as well. Find out more information on the website. And before you go, I would really, really love it if you could sign the couch. I could sign the couch. You could just sign Yay. the couch. Like, Anywhere you like, darling. Anywhere leaving, you like. I'm leaving my legacy tips. All right. 
All right, so on the way, we are actually going to hear from Lisa Marie for the second half.